Hi everyone, Cinder here. Welcome to another day in Stardew Valley. And thunder and lightning tomorrow as well. Oh wow. Um, coleslaw, which we already know how to make. It said free run, but I wanted to see what was going to be on the TV. Uh, it's Willie's birthday today, but we're probably not getting out. Out to him. Hi, Penny. I have to go into town today. It's raining. Take care. Um, whereas we talked in a in a certain way about uh, modern AAA RPGs. Today's question is about flash game RPGs and my opinions on them. So this would be a completely different type of conversation because it's my opinions. I think there are some fantastic flash game RPGs out there. Two, I've played on the channel that, you know, just immediately come to mind. Crystal Story 2. Check that out if you haven't. That was such a fun playthrough. Um, and for being a, a Flash game RPG, amazing. Being an RPG, period, it's amazing. Just, you know, let me give uh, Lance Trash, that's what the developer goes by, um, a tremendous amount of credit for making a great RPG that's a lot of fun and give, has a lot to offer. Um... And it's a, it's a flash RPG. You can go play Crystal Story 2. Or, I think it's on Steam for like 2-3 bucks now. And the other one that immediately comes to mind is Epic Battle Fantasy 4. Um, <coughs> I believe EBF 5. Sorry about that. Um, that's Epic Battle Fantasy for short. For <laughs> those of you that didn't catch it, I'll be saying EBF. Um, I believe EBF 5 comes out very soon. That's what people keep telling me. Um, if that's the case, you can expect to either A, have already seen it on the channel, if it's out now, or B, for me to do it very soon. That is one of my, uh, most watched Let's Plays, as a matter of fact, was Epic Battle Fantasy IV. So, might as well play the fifth one, right? <laughs> and it's a phenomenal RPG. I'm not gonna play it just for, just for views. I don't, you know... Whatever, I'm playing it because I think it looks like a fantastic game. Or it could be a lot of fun. I think it will be both. Um, you can buy Epic Battle Fantasy 4 now on uh, Steam for... I don't know, I think it's like 13 bucks, something like that. Worth every penny. It's fantastic. So... Um, definitely pick pick that up. Let's see. Um, the characters in Epic Battle Fantasy IV are amazing. Just phenomenal characters. A lot of fun. There's a lot of jokes. Um, great RPG mechanics for both games. Both games have, have fantastic RPG uh, mechanics. Um, the characters feel really good. The spells feel really good. Um, they, they do a phenomenal job, period. Those two are great. But there are also a lot of other just really good flash game RPGs out there. Now, typically they're done from, um, I think especially these days, they're done more in parts. So you'll get like, or just, you know, be really small. Wow, you could see the lightning. Sorry, that's the first time we've actually seen this strike of lightning. That was cool. Um... Uh, you, you get them in, in kind of parts sometimes, or they, they're they typically smaller, because they're Flash games. But more and more, you're... Well, I shouldn't say that because of a different genre that's taken over Flash games, but that's neither here nor there. Um, there are some... The point is, Flash game RPGs are really, really good. There's some really, really good ones out there, and even if they're not phenomenal on the level of Crystal Story 2 and um, EBF 4, there are some that are that are good. You can tell the the uh, game creator, and it's usually, you know, a one-man or a very small team, put a lot of work into this, this Flash RPG. And even if it doesn't have the best graphics, you can tell if there was care put into the combat, 
into the ideas they wanted to do, into the story they wanted to do. And, you know, sometimes they may not have that level of polish that, uh, that the great ones do. But you can tell when they try hard. And want, want, to, want to tell a story. I think that's great. We should, we should encourage indie and flash RPG developers. We should not... I don't know why I went here, by the way. <laughs> Um, habit, just daily routine, except I didn't water today. Um, we should be encouraging them to get better and put out RPGs that are, that are great. Because you can see if they have it in them, instead of being like, bad graphics, 2 out of 10, quit making games forever. Like, we need, that, that, that needs to stop. We should be encouraging our, our, uh, these game makers. I remember the first epic battle fantasy. <laughs> it's nowhere near on par with with the later ones in the series. But that's what's fantastic about uh, Crystal Story between one and two, and the epic battle fantasy series. You know, one through four, and what's about to be five. They've improved. Every game has been better. That's what we need to ask of these people. We give them feedback, and you don't have to be mean about the feedback either. Tell them what they did well, tell them what they could improve on, and see how the next game is. Now, they put a lot of hard work in these games, I know. A lot of hard work, a lot of time. So they should be praised for what they do right. And then told what, hey, you should improve on this, so your next game's even better. That's what, that's what should happen. Now, is that what happens? No. But it's, it's what, you know, I'm about on the channel. <laughs> that's how I think it should be. Um, but overall, there, there's, uh, there's a lot of potential there. I just don't know. Oh, I just don't know if I want to really go mining and have to deal with all of that. But we're going to anyway. Um, <laughs> I just don't know how much you're really going to see of flash RPGs anymore. Here's why. Um, it's a thing called Steam. <laughs> um, RPG Maker has become such a great way to make RPGs. You have so many tools in the toolbox if you get RPG Maker that I don't think you'll see Flash game RPGs very much anymore. So it'll kind of be that lost that lost art. Um, and those, of, those that do make Flash RPGs you know, the really big ones like Epic Battle Fantasy. Like, that one's coming to mind just because it's it's near. <laughs> um, that that comes to mind because because it's near. Sandfish. Um, hold on a second. Controller room. I actually do have my controller plugged in now. I'm not playing with it, but I have it plugged in, and it rumbled. I could hear it. <laughs> so, uh... I just think it's something you won't see as... as much. That's just one of those... one of those, uh... genres. Not really, it's not a genre. It's a, just a style you won't see as much, I think. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm really wrong about that. There's some really cool, you know, flash RPGs, but the ones that are, that are have gotten a lot of a lot of play that are really good, um, they've moved on to different platforms like Steam. Like they just make the game and now put it on Steam. And they'll they'll uh, I think what's going to happen more and more is that if they feel they have a good, they'll get Steam green light more flash RPGs, they'll put, um, a, like, maybe a demo 
on a site like uh, Armor Games, Congregate, you know, sites like that. And you'll get like a demo, a feel for the game, and then you can like go to Steam and buy their game. Um, the great thing about Flash, Flash game RPGs is they'll either be, be free <laughs> or they'll be cheaper. You can get a very quality RPG experience. Sometimes they can be way better than a $60 game. I'm not joking. You can... <laughs> you, you'll see. I think as long as Flash games are around... Flash, flash RPGs. They'll be of uh, of good quality these days, uh, because I think a lot of people have gotten better, have gotten better about it. But I just don't think you'll see them as much as you used to, because they'll be on platforms like Steam for like a few dollars, up to you know fifteen, twenty dollars if it's like a really high quality great game um or they just get shoved out of the way by what flash games have have become recently which are idle games there's a lot of idle games out now um some uh, a few puzzle games which are really good but uh a lot of idle games on flash sites now i've noticed that that's uh that's a big thing i'm out here so i'm gonna go ahead and buy beats they're really cheap. So I'm going to buy a whole bunch and we're going to plant a whole bunch of beets. So I have them. Now I have a lot of money. So I'm also going to buy some starfruit seeds. You may be saying, wait, Central, it's almost, we're almost out of summer. I know, but I have a greenhouse. <laughs> I'll buy 40. Those will come with us. All right. Um, there's, I really don't have anything else to say about Flash, uh, Flash game RPGs. I think they're, they're, uh, there's some really good ones out there. Oh, one that I just, that just popped in my, Sunny. If you know, uh, Sunny and, uh, Sunny 2, those were back then. I don't think another one was ever made. Back then, they were really fantastic Flash RPGs. I hope, I hope they stick around. Now, I hope we get some great quality Flash RPGs still. I just don't know how many, uh, how much we'll get of that. All things, uh, all things considered. It might just be a a style that gets taken over by like uh, RPG Maker games, which which can be really good too. I don't know why people bash uh, RPG Maker games. Like that's a topic I should talk about because I think it's ridiculous the treatment they get these days. Um, because. There's a lot of there's a lot of bad ones I understand, but there's a lot of good ones too. And um, there's some that are that are average, that are worth playing. I should you know I, I should say they're good enough to play. Rancher, by the way, I didn't see that my title changed. That's awesome. Um, anyway, that's a topic for another time. That's about all I got for for uh. for uh, flash game RPGs. I hope the style stays. I think it's faded a lot over the uh, over the past few years because I think they're really tough to make. But there's still some phenomenal ones out there in the past and hopefully there's still some being made. Um Man, when I finish a topic early, <laughs> what do I do then? <laughs> well, 
Well, you know what? I'll, I'll kind of merge this and an, another one that somebody asked me about both into this one because they really do tie in together and I've talked about it a lot. I was asked what do I think of the epic battle fantasy series. That is one of the top examples of great flash game RPGs and why I think they're awesome and should stick around though I don't know if they will. Um, epic battle fantasy I remember the first one and it was uh it, it didn't have a... It was just fight after fight. Had had, had had a few story moments, but it was really uh, fight after fight. And it had... Uh, Matt and... I don't think it was Natalie at that point. It ended up being Natalie, but she was called something different at that point. Um, I think she was called Cat. But she would eventually be become Natalie, that the uh, healer and just all around awesome spellcaster nice uh, nice lady that we know we know today from the recent EBF games my favorite character by the way <laughs> um, but I remember how it started and I, I the highest compliment I can give um, Matt Rozak the uh, creator and developer etc etc of the Epic Battle Fantasy series is that every game has been an improvement and that they've all been a blast to play for for different reasons but they've all gotten better with every with every game his skills have improved his skills and the skills of at this point team I think have improved they they've gotten better with every game and that's not always the case you can say, but I can say that about that series. And it's fantastic to be able to say that. <laughs> and their latest, EBF4, was phenomenal. It was such a great ride. Side, you know, some side quests. Um, the RPG mechanics were great. There were some really hard bosses. Um... All the different spells looked and felt fantastic to use. All the different abilities. Um, the talk between the characters was great. You know, the quips that they kind of made at each other. Uh, the comedy in it was a lot of fun. Um, just the whole thing. The whole thing was, was great. So, I can't... I can't say more than that. <laughs> the, the, whole, the whole thing was, was done extremely well. Um, I look forward to the next game because I think it's going to be I think it'll be even better I really do because I have no reason not to think that way because every game so far has been better and you know by leaps and bounds I'll be interested to see what's different this time um, what stays the same hopefully the characters do for the most part because the characters are awesome <laughs> But yeah, that's uh, that's what I have to say about Epic Battle Fantasy. the The games are awesome. the the whole The whole series is phenomenal, and some of their spinoff games, the spinoff games that that they've done using EBF characters, are fantastic as well. Um, if you like Bullet Hells, check out the Bullet Heaven series. I did a uh, first impressions on it. Sadly, I haven't got the time to really play uh, play more of it. It's been out for a little while now. Um, but it was definitely a blast to play. So play that. Um, a few more spinoffs that that uh, just aren't coming to mind. I know I've played some other stuff by by them that use the use the characters. Um, they're doing a great job, and all I can say is definitely keep it up. Every, everybody working on epic battle fantasy stuff. You know, you all definitely keep up the fantastic work because you're doing a great job uh, I hate when so many pop up <laughs> I don't know. um 
cactus fruits are free, so. We've used a lot of energy, too. <laughs> there we go. they stayed down for a little longer <laughs> you know so this doesn't happen where I get kind of surrounded because that's bad <laughs> and trying to kill them all at once isn't isn't very fun either so there we go um Good and bad that I got through two questions this episode, because <laughs> now I need more questions. This area is infested. That's good and bad, because these enemies can give us lots of cool stuff. That's a lot of slimes. <laughs> All of you drop iridium ore. Oh, one did. Which is good. Well, now it's not good that only one did. <laughs> there we go, two. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, sadly, this didn't go very far. It's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and leave. Leave to mine. We'll store the uh, cactus fruit that we have. Take the seeds. Get our stuff back. Okay. Take those. Um, I should really just leave the bombs here, and I can pick them up whenever I, whenever I uh, show up. I'll leave the regular bombs here. The mega bombs come with me, <laughs> just because, just in case. Um, yeah, um flash game RPGs can be really good. And Epic Battle Fantasy series is one of the best examples of that. And I said another one that I played on the channel is Crystal Story 2. Phenomenal flash game RPG. Um, just a, it's a phenomenal RPG. Check it out. And just remember that one person did Crystal Story 2. Same way as one person did Stardew Valley. It's amazing what um, one developer that has a has a passion can can accomplish these days. And this took a lot of time. And it was four years to take to do uh, um, Stardew Valley. And I hope he's he's reaping the rewards for this a phenomenal game. That's all I got. You got a question you'd like to hear my opinions on um, in some shape, way, fashion, or form? <laughs> Let me know in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer the question. As you heard, sometimes I can be a bit scatterbrained on it. <laughs> but I do try my best to kind of gather my thoughts and uh, and talk about the talk about the topic and there's there's always more in depth that I could go um, um, but I do try uh, try my best for all of you to answer a question if you're not satisfied with the answer you'd like for me to go into some detail on some some part of it it's all right to let me know that and um, Ask what you would like my clarification on, and I can I can make that an episode for you. 
um, until we're done with Stardew Valley, <laughs> which is probably a good, I don't know, we're probably still a good, we have all of fall, winter, and a, I don't know when in spring, I was told like at the start of the third year, the main story kind of ends, um, but of course you can play Stardew Valley as long as you want, <laughs> but that's when I'm going to be ending, ending it, um, ending this um, extremely lengthy Let's Play. But I hope all of you are still having a lot of fun. So like I said, we probably got a good 60-ish episodes left. So you've you've got a chance to get my opinion on stuff. <laughs> as always, as, the, as this uh, quick disclaimer, if I don't know anything about the topic or don't feel comfortable talking about it, I won't. So... <laughs> Game related is your best bet to uh to have me to have me talk about it. So um until the next episode where we'll talk about something. <laughs> oh, there was one more this little try had there was one more series for me to talk about. Feel free to leave your questions anyway, per usual, and I'll talk about that series next time and whatever's happened to it. Um, like I said, we'll get to that next time. Until then, I'm Cinderay9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.